Oh, any exercises too? So can you please show us the completion event after the numbers were emitted? I'm going to do just that. You just, again, you preempted my next slide. So here's, here's my next slide. So we looked at the subscribe method, right? There are multiple signatures to the subscribe method. You can subscribe with nothing, okay? No lambda to execute, okay? So, and the, the flux is going to go, well, I have nothing to do, right? It's just going to emit an event. There's nobody to listen to it, right? If a flux emits an event in the forest and there isn't a subscribe, does it even happen? There's a philosophical question for you, but at least you will not know that something has happened because there is no side effect to it, okay? So nothing is, nothing is doing the subscribe, right? You're, nothing is listening to the event. It's emitting the event. You make it do the work, but you're not doing anything with it. Right? This is the first subscribe signature. This is a subscribe signature that we have been using. Okay? Subscribe that takes a consumer. Consumer is an, you know, is, is a functional interface type, which basically takes an element and then does something with it. It doesn't return anything. It just does processing with it. When what did we do? We did system.out.println, right? We did this. This is a subscribe interface that we used. Okay, this is, sorry, this is a subscribe method signature that we used. And that is this guy here. Okay, this calls this method when there is an item, not when there is a completion event or a termination event. This calls it only when there is an item that is released, which is why we didn't see the completion event, right? There is another signature which allows you to pass a couple more lambdas, okay? So you have a error consumer. Well, we've, we've got this one over here. Let's take a look at this. We have an error consumer, okay? This couple more lambdas. So this is the first consumer that we've already seen. We have an error consumer, which basically says, when an item happens, run this first lambda. When an error happens, run this second lambda, okay? I'm gonna show you this. So I'm gonna go over here and, um, over here, this is my first lambda. I'm going to put a comma here, and then I'm going to say, when an error happens, I'm going to do sysout and print the error dot. You see this? Error is of type, I think, throwable. Let's see. Yeah, it is throwable. So error dot get message. This is another way of doing subscribe. Okay, so you're passing two lambdas to it. So what this is going to do, this flux is going to call the right lambda depending on what the event is. If it is an item that's issued, then it is going to call this guy. If it is an error, then it's going to call this guy. And as you can guess, there is one more, which is for completion. Okay. And the completion is, I think, I think I just do complete. Forget. Let's see. I think this is it. The third one is a, is a completion. It's, it doesn't take any argument. It just runs the lambda that you sent, right? Let's put this to the test. So I'm going to run this thing. So this, since there's a mono, it is going to print the number first, and then there's not going to be an error. We haven't done any error kind of a thing. It doesn't emit an error. And after that, it does a complete. All right, let's see this. All right, you see this? It got the number and then it immediately completed, which is which is the method signature for subscribe that we have, right? You can see this in, in other ones as well. I'm gonna literally copy this and paste this over here. Okay, over here, right? This, the, this is exercise two. Instead of the one subscribe, I'm going to do all these three. Okay, I'm gonna run this. So it is gonna print these. Each time an element is firing, it is calling the first one. Okay. After 10, it is going to trigger complete. You see this? Immediately after 10, it's go it goes, I'm done. There's nothing else to do. And then it triggers this lambda. Okay. You can do things over here. You can say, okay, this lambda is done. Then you can do stuff there. All right. Um, I'm going to put this back here. And uh, I think this is exercise five. Yeah. All right. This is exercise five. So I would urge you to do this. Let's give it a shot. Exercise five, subscribe to a flux using the error and completion hooks. So you're going to subscribe to the 
int number mono. Actually, you can subscribe to int number flux. Okay. And uh, user, we already did user mono, so maybe the user flux. So, well, yeah, user mono is fine. We did flux here. We're going to do mono here, right? So give it a try. Subscribe to this and see, see the results printed. If an item throws error, then will it iterate through the rest of the items? Is the complete executed always? No to both. You remember, an error is a terminal event. Okay? So, here. There are three possible things that could come from a flux or a mono. These two are terminal events. If a complete event happens, there's nothing else happening after that. If a failure event happens, there is nothing else happening after that. Okay, so you can imagine when a failure event happens, there isn't a complete event. Okay, so the complete event doesn't execute at that point. Only the failure thing ha gets executed and that's it, it's done. The complete runs only when there is a successful completion of your flux or lambda. It doesn't execute all the time. Okay, so the item is the only one where there is a possibility of something else happening with a complete or a failure. There's nothing else happening after that. Right? Even if there are multiple other items that are that could be coming in the in the pipeline, once a failure happens, that's it, it's the end. Okay. It's kind of like throw, right? If you if you are in a try-catch block and an exception happens, the code below is not going to get executed. It's going to immediately go to the catch, right? So it's either going to complete successfully complete the try block or it is going to fail. All right, um, give this a try, The uh, this exercise, but should be simple. It's basically what we did over there. Let's see if I even have the copy over here. So basically doing a subscribe with multiple with multiple happening int number flux. Isn't there? That's hard. Numbers flux, sorry. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna pass these three lambdas to this flux, and it is going to basically just call this whenever, right? Depending on the event.